tug her ear And you'll see her disappear Yes, it's Sabrina And her magic power can get her out of trouble But with Sabrina You're never sure if you're not seeing double Cause she's Sabrina Sabrina the teenage witch Well, students, I hope you're as eager as I am to begin our annual tour of the Riverdale Museum. Oh, oh nice. Nice. Yeah. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Good. Uh, seeing King Tut Tut again will certainly bring back fond memories. <laughs> Naturally, she used to date him. <laughs> I can't understand what's keeping Sabrina. Well, we mustn't waste precious time. You run along inside while I wait for her here. Now, where could she be? I'll tell you where I could be. Up to my neck in problems. See what I mean? Hi, Cousin Sabrina. Please, Hexter. I'll spend some other Saturday with you. Today I have to go to the museum. Miss Della wouldn't like it if you left me home. How do you know? That's how. That's a very convincing argument. I knew you'd see the light. <laughs> Where is Sabrina? She'd better show up by the time I count three. One, two... Hang on, Hexter. Here we go. One, two, three. I'm here, Miss Grundy. Oh, my stars and goddess. You frightened me out of 30 years' growth. Congratulations. That makes you only 60. <laughs> and who, may I ask, is this? Uh, this is my cousin, Hexter. Um, I'm sort of stuck with him for the day. So I see. Well... The museum tour will do wonders for his soft, undeveloped brain. Soft brain? Well, sure, who's got a soft brain? Oh, dear. Gracious, I suddenly feel so light-headed. Uh, there's a lot of that going around. Hold on, wasn't there a lion standing there? A, a lion? Where? There. Oh, oh, there. Oh, heavens to Betsy! Is there anything wrong, Miss Grundy? I have a feeling this is going to be a long day. Miss Grundy, I've got the very same feeling. Here we have the sarcophagus of the ancient Egyptian ruler, King Tut Tut. Notice how he's completely bandaged. Does anyone know what these numbers stand for? Hey, it's the license plate of the car that hit him. <laughs> Moose, you should be ashamed of yourself. Why? I didn't hit him. I don't even own a car. <laughs> oh, what a dumb way to spend a day in a stuffy old museum. Oh, I think it's fun. And I think it could use a little life. What are you doing? Just having some fun. And here, we have the legendary Tut Tut Ruby. Supposedly, anyone touching it will suffer the curse of King Tut Tut. <laughs> what childish nonsense. <laughs> did, did you see something ancient and shriveled just go by? Yeah, but I thought it was you. <laughs> <sighs> I don't feel so well. You may continue the tour by yourselves while I rest a moment. Hexter, you must stop those tricks. It's too dangerous. Dangerous? Miss Grundy might catch on that you're a warlock and I'm a witch. Oh, ashamed of your heritage, eh? Just for that, I will tell. Yo-ho, Miss Grundy! <laughs> Have I got news for you? I must stop him. Sabrina is a... Uh, did someone call me? Uh, call you? I thought I heard Hexter shouting. Oh, in a museum? Oh, Hexter wouldn't do that. He's a little angel. Oh, dear. Now I'm hearing things, too. Uh, Sabrina, would you run to the store and get me a bottle of aspirins? Uh, y yes, Miss Grundy. I'll need someone to keep an eye on Hexter while I'm gone. Will do fine. Gadzooks, what manner of black magic is this? 
sorry, Sir Lancelot, but I need someone to watch after Hexter there. Why chooseth me, pray tell? Because I think you'll make a perfect night watchman. <laughs> now, hold still while I make a slight alteration. There, that's better. Forsooth, wench, thou hast changed me to a damsel. Wait, it's just for a few minutes. I pray you make haste. These flimsy garments are most drafty. I'll be right back. Meanwhile, keep an eye on that statue. Hmm. Amazing how much this statue resembles little Hexter. Same beady, close-set eyes. Oh, yeah? Oh, no! <laughs> oh, I thought she'd never leave. <laughs> now to have some real laughs. Oh, Nave, where dost thou thinkest thou goest? Step aside, quiet. I got some hectic hexing to do. Thou hast best behave, Nave. Ah, quit being such a wet blanket. <laughs> I shall split thee like a sapling. If you think you can beat this lolly, you're out of your trolley. <laughs> it takes a licking, but it keeps on tricking. <laughs> <laughs> Methinks fighting dragons was less dangerous. I hope the spell I cast on that suit of armor doesn't wear off. I only gave it a light hex. Buffoon! Thanks to thee, I have caught a cold! What sayest thou to that? Gesundheit! <laughs> oh, where's Sabrina? Did you bring my aspirins? Art thou addressing me, emaciated wench? First it was my eyes. Now my ears are going. <laughs> oh, heavens to Horatio. Help me. I, I, I don't believe it. it. It's not really happening. Oh, please, Sabrina, say this is all some sort of optical illusion. There's nobody in there. One thing for Miss Grundy, when she teaches a subject, she really becomes part of it. <laughs> I guess that's her way of giving us a higher education. <laughs> oh, thanks for a fun day, cuz. And don't worry, I'll give Miss Della a good report. Oh, thank you, Hexter. Think nothing of it. See you around, Sabrina! Phew! He's finally gone. Now to crawl into bed and sleep for a week. Hi! We're the Spectre, Spectre Triplets. Triplets! Bill! Baruch! And Crandall! Uh, Hector told us what a great time he had visiting with you. So we decided to try it ourselves. We've already worked out a schedule for the week. Yeah, tomorrow we'll all go to the zoo. And the next day, you'll take us to school. Thursday night, the movie? Wednesday, the school dance. Miss Grundy, wait for me! <laughs> <laughs> Hexter was right. She is a million laughs. <laughs>, <laughs>, <laughs>